When you were smaller, you might even have ridden on something like this. It's a tiny miniature copy of a Victorian rocking horse, beautifully made of wood. These days, we'd make it out of plastic. But in those days, they didn't have plastic and they had to use wood. And this one, which is uh, really one of those things under construction, shows how they did it. This has already more than 50 pieces of wood in it. If you turn it on the side, you can see they're now all nailed together and glued together, and they're shaped with planes and rasps and all sorts of things to come up with the horse body. To make a rocking horse like that, or a merry-go-round horse like this. And when you had to do that a hundred times to make a full merry-go-round's worth, you had a lot of horse making to do. Fairly complex. It is easier today to make a rocking horse because all you need to do is to have a drink. Because that's what forms the main part of the body of your rocking animal, an empty drink can, especially an aluminium one, which is very light and bendy. Well, the first thing you have to do is to whip off the top, because that's going to get in the way. If you can't whip it off, at least poke it in. Leave the top flat. I think I'll just take that off because it's easier to do. There we go. Now, a can like that is easily bent, but you have to bend it in special ways. I'll take another one and show you how to do it. Put it on its side, Get a straight edge, like a ruler or a piece of wood or something like that. Put it on there, and if I just turn it round, you can see that as I press that in, the can goes into a funny sort of kink. There we go. It's not hard to do at all if it's an aluminium can. If I then pick it up and straighten those two halves out, the kink remains, and what's happened is that the bottom has become curved, and that's our rocker. You can see if I set the can going, it rocks back and forth in the slightest breeze, or to the slightest touch. And that's what gives you the rocker on the body of the animal. But before you do that, you have to start the decoration part. So I'll get rid of that and go to one of these other cans. We'll take some light paper, the lighter the better. This is blue because the rocking horse back there was blue. And make sure it's the size that will just go around a can and can be stuck together to make a cylinder. I've done that here, and that's the finished article. And you get it like that before you put the kink in. Otherwise, you'll never get the paper on. But let's take that now and kink it as we just saw. Roll it down the middle, right in the middle, and give it a good press. And you'll notice that the paper kinks along with the can. And that's terrific because it can't come off now and it's uh, free of wrinkles. Straighten it out into an hourglass shape and it rocks. That's terrific. Now all you have to do is to put on the, the bits and pieces. Well, I'm going to make a blue horse, just like the one in the background there, and I've done that by cutting out um, blue legs from a piece of paper. Folding it over means that you get two legs the same. And I'll just glue them on the side there. One on this side, pawing the air like a good stallion or something, and the other one on the other side to balance things up. You could put back legs on too, but I'm not going to bother at this stage. Well, those are the legs. What do you do about the head? That's pretty simple too, but let's just move that to one side while we do it. First of all, get a piece of paper and fold it down the middle to make a hinge. And down at the end, which isn't the hinge, get another can and turning it upside down, just press it on and mark out, by twisting it, the circle from the top of the can. It's not very clear there, but it's just clear enough to see that the can runs around there. And you have to cut that half circle out because that's going to be folded over and fitted inside the can. Let me show you how. First of all, the scissors go around there. I'd do it a bit more neatly than this if I had the time. And then we cut the rest of the head on top, stick the two pieces together and mark them with paper. And what you get is this. Fold those two halves down. That's what I've cut out. Bend these two bottom parts to one side to give a circle and then stick the thing on the top. You'll end up with very much this sort of apparatus. Glue on the top, stick it on the can, the right direction, and there's your rocking horse. Give it a little push and it'll rock for you. Now you might find if you used heavy paper that a little push pushes it right over. If that's so, take the head off quickly before the glue dries and drop a few little pebbles in. They'll weight the bottom of it and keep it bottom heavy. Then all you have to do is to reassemble it and put it on a smooth tabletop where it will rock either with a little push or a little breath of wind.
Curiosity.